Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a special reading. Why is it special? Because I know that in one way or another many of you have been asking for this. Um, we're going to find out through the cards if there are external energies indeed blocking you or affecting you. Okay, many of you have this like, I don't know, I get the feeling that maybe I have some kind of like evil eye or some kind of like curse or some kind of block or something weird. Um, so we're going to go deep and find out what it is and how can we fix it, remove it, if there is indeed something external. If there isn't and it's something internal, we're going to find out what it is as well. That is holding you back, Pisces, from your highest potential. Let's go for it, okay? So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you would like to give me a like, that would be absolutely fantastic. I would really appreciate that as well. It really helps the channel grow and it really helps um, for the videos to really get out there. The more Pisces that see this, the better. All right, universe, angels, beings of love and light, please clarify this for the Pisces Collective. Is Pisces, especially the Pisces watching this video, is Pisces being blocked by external forces or delayed by external forces? And if so, what forces? <laughs> Or are they being sabotaged through their subconscious mind or their internal struggles? Please clarify this for us. Show us clearly. Show us clearly. All right. Show us clearly, Pisces. Leo, universe. <laughs> so I'm taking cards upright, and the first card that we have is the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you may feel like the area of your life that is blocked is one that has to do with financial security or stability. Maybe you don't feel like your health is being affected. Maybe you feel like, well, you know, I am this level of healthy but it's because i'm doing this level of commitment so whatever like you don't feel there's um some kind of external negative influence consciously bringing you down but in finances stability property even family possibly some of you are thinking it feels a little off it feels a little weird you know there might be something more so then we have here the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you may be thinking, I'm working really hard. I'm focusing my efforts. I'm doing what I have to do. Why don't I see the prosperity or the abundance to the level in which I want it? What is keeping me stuck here? So that could be more uh, around the information, kind of like more information around the block that some of you are feeling. Spirit is advising you with this particular version of the Eight of Pentacles to work your magic. She's holding a candle, she's sitting on a desk in which there's another candle, there's a feather, there's herbs, and there's books. And above her, you can see all of the moon faces. So this is letting me know that your advice to use your magic, to, uh, which by the way, reminds me, I was supposed to say this at the beginning of the reading, I forgot. Um, the product of the week for this week is the Banish Fatigue and Get Your Spark Back DIY uh, witchy course. So if you're interested, $24.99, it helps you get your energy back up, your spark back up if you feel like you're a little gray, a little blah. Um, and it does it does so by teaching you to do those spells for yourself and for your loved ones in a safe manner. So that's that. Now, getting back to the reading. Sorry, I just totally forgot about that at the beginning. Um, getting back to the reading, they're advising you to work your magic. They're advising you to put in the work, to put in the effort, to use the resources that you have, the tools that you have, to really manifest your desires. If they are related to finances, then do that. I see the Page of Swords here. I see the Six of Swords. I see the Two of Swords. Wow, so many swords, you guys. The Ace of Swords.
So what's holding you back is your mind. Granted, the mind can be influenced negatively by people uh, with ill intent. So the mind is kind of like the battlefield, so to speak. So we still don't know if this is external or internal, but it's happening in the mind. It's taking place in the mind. Like if there is someone wanting to hold you back, they're doing so by influencing your thoughts, your beliefs, your beliefs about what you're capable of, your beliefs about yourself. What I'm getting is actually a mix. I'm getting that some of you are indeed being mentally affected by external uh, negative influences, which could be the following. Magic, black magic or something like that could be the case. Not apply. It doesn't apply for almost anybody. But for some of you, it does. For others of you, narcissistic abuse from the past or present. Shifting and changing the way you perceive yourself. For others of you, are these like narratives that you hear? Those, those narratives that you hear constantly that are holding you back, they have somehow gathered like a lot of strength or momentum. For others of you, it's just you. It's like, basically what Spirit is saying through this card is, let's rephrase the question at hand. Spirit is saying, it's not about who is influenced by what. You'll never know for sure if you're getting um, negative energies thrown your way. You'll never know for sure, for sure, factually, if it's you holding yourself back or someone else trying to sabotage you. I'm just channeling right now, okay? So let's rephrase the whole thing and focus on what to do to break any kind of limiting chains holding you back, regardless of where they came from. Basically, what cards are saying here is it doesn't matter where they came from. Just work on releasing yourself from those um, limitations. First suggestion that I see here is getting yourself information learning. We can see that she is walking on a very, very tight little rope or little piece of wood or something. Oh, it's a sword. Huh, I never noticed that. Okay, it's a sword. Whatever. She is jumping this limitation. She is breaking this barrier, going from this piece of land to the next by using her mind, her knowledge. She's holding a book. She has all these ideas. The ideas are holding her up, are making her feel lighter. The book is giving her the information that she needs, pulling her forward. So find more information about what you suspect is holding you back. If what I said about narcissism really resonates, then get yourself a book about the particular narcissistic abuse that you may have had, if you had a narcissistic dad or a mom or a partner, if you had um, manipulation and abuse in the past, understand more about it so you can liberate yourself from it. If you feel 100% like, dude, what's deal what, what I'm going through is black magic, then get yourself into studying how black magic works, how energy protection works, how you can hack it, you know, through the mind through your ancestors, through your connection to spirit. Basically, the only thing that you're lacking here is information, apparently. You have already made progress, leaving blockages behind. You are already kind of like more tilted towards the future, the possibilities, the, the calmer waters than you are towards the negative or the past. Some of you um, 
if you're dealing with a lot of like anxiety, if you're dealing with a lot of crazy mental chatter, um, they're advising you here to do breathing exercises, walks, and meditations. Especially in nature if you have the chance for that. Because there could be forces around you, yes, messing with your mind. Yeah. But at the end of the day, whether it comes from you or it comes from others, it doesn't matter. Just break through them all. When light arrives in your mind, in the form of knowledge, illumination, clarity, healing, that's when the breakthrough happens. Whether it is coming from external sources or internal sources, past lives, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And you know very well that I started this reading wanting to know <laughs> the source of the blocks. But Spirit is being very clear. Getting more information on the story, the drama, the narrative is not going to be helpful. The only thing that is helpful is knowing that you have the power to move past that. And that the information in this day and age is available for you. It's at your fingertips. Clarity. Clarity is what sets you free. Clarity is what brings back the joy. Clarity is what sets things in motion. If I were you, Pisces, and you're resonating with this, but you're still a little confused, if I were you, I would do the following. Kind of like an exercise thing. Take it if it resonates. Get a page. Write on the top of it a little bit about how you feel. What you're trying to attain and you feel like you can't, specifically. Why do you suspect that is? Make a list of the external blockages that could be affecting you and the internal blockages that could be affecting you. Okay. If you don't really know about the subject, research, for example, online, the five or the 10 main limiting beliefs keeping me from abundance or keeping you from abundance or keeping you from manifesting. Learn about it. Do those lists, external, internal, and one by one, do something about each one of those. If you feel like it's dark magic, Maybe get a, a, a session with a professional. If you are a professional, then use the tools that you have. Maybe do an egg clearing on yourself. Maybe do a 21 days of candles for Hecate to, you know, protect you. Or maybe, you know, whatever. There's infinite things that you can do. Believe me. Believe me because I've been through it. First hand. <laughs> for years. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, San Benito. You know, there's, there's so many ways. If you don't know about like the mindset, the psychological aspect of it all, research. There is a solution for every single one of those potential blockages. Just because you suspect them doesn't mean that you are indeed being affected by all of that. But imagine how powerful you can be if you go one by one, solving all of those potential issues. It's like boosting your potential like tenfold like if there's any chance past lives are holding you back doing a regression checking that out making sure cool removing that if it was a block you know and removing and cleaning and clearing layers and layers and layers of potential blockages are setting you free but it starts with information it starts with the mind so they're advising you to use like a mind like a strategic approach granted we do see here the herbs and the candles and the things so it's like choose a strategy plan it with your brain with your mind and then execute it using your magic and your power spirit is saying if you are being held back you're the only one who can get you out of that. There's infinite ways. But if you choose to just focus on how bad you feel, how blocked you feel, 
how things used to be and how they are now, how things you wish they would be, how you know you wish things would be, um, and they are not. If you focus on the negative and you sit there with it, it will magnify. They're saying action through the mind, strategy, study, research, understanding. That's what's gonna, gonna, gonna get you out of whatever you feel is holding you back, whether it is external or internal. And apparently spirit seems a little offended <laughs> that you care so much about, you know, knowing if it's coming from external sources or internal reasons. You know, because sometimes we really kind of want it to be another person doing black magic at us. Because it's like, oh, it's their fault. See? <laughs> it's their fault. You know? But sometimes... We're not doing what we have to do. Sometimes we're not fighting for freedom as much as we need to. I've been attacked with black magic for years in so many different ways. It honestly doesn't scare me anymore. It used to petrify me. But it doesn't scare me anymore. And that's because I know that there is infinite information, infinite techniques, infinite spirit guides, infinite energy. So you can clear things for the rest of your life in a new way every time. Like, there is no limit on how much information is out there. <laughs> so Pisces, please trust yourself, trust your guides, trust, trust your strength that you are bigger than whatever this is. It doesn't even matter what it is. So, yes, Pisces, that is the message that is showing up here for you. Check out the website, I have a lot of resources there. I have a lot of information there um, that you can use to learn and improve yourself. Maybe there's something in there that is valuable to you that you can use. Um, remember, if you are interested in the 2025 forecast reading, which is a personal reading I do just for you, not for the Pisces Collective, just you and your life, um, this is a reading in which I break down every month of 2025, uh, letting you know which month is best for what, what crystal can help, help you this month, what archangel can help you this month, giving you as much information as possible for each month. If you want to book that, please do so today because they are we're already in November. They're already on the way out. So I really hope that if that is something that you feel could help you and guide you, that you go ahead and check it out, and that you book as soon as you get a chance. Pisces, you are powerful. Wisdom is powerful. Knowledge is powerful. So get yourself out of whatever situation it is that you're not liking or you're not enjoying. Yeah. I hope that doesn't feel redundant. <laughs> Because I know that sometimes when we feel like shit and people say stuff like that, it's like, you don't get it. You don't understand. You don't feel the way I feel. You haven't gone through what I have gone through. So it's just like, you're so privileged and that's why you're saying what you're saying. First of all, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying what the cards are saying to me <laughs> first. Second, you'd be surprised about the things that I've gone through myself. Uh, even at my early age. So, you know, just... Everyone is dealing with a battle we know nothing about. And everyone has experiences you know nothing about. But one thing I do know. If there's a will, there's a way. Okay? Alright. I love you, Pisces. <laughs> Bye. I wish you the best of luck. If you want to talk about it, comment below. Let me know what you're going through. And, and let's see, as a collective, as a tribe, what can we do to help? I love you so much, Pisces. Thank you for being here today.